So I'm Ruth and this is Sean and we build kids invention ideas and when we do things often go wrong because that's what happens when you build crazy things that nobody's ever made before. But in this video we may have accidentally built an illegal invention. Ruth it's illegal! So this is the story of what we made and what went wrong and for obvious reasons please don't try any of this stuff at home. Kids invent stuff. So on this channel, we bring to life kids' invention ideas. And today we are going to build Daniel's idea for the Jellycopter. Which is a flying machine which fires jelly. Or jello if you're from the USA or Canada. So we need something that can both fly and carry things. So we found this beastie DJI kit drone on eBay. So I think it's time for a drone build montage. <laughs> So through the power of montage, we've got this rather large, slightly terrifying drone and it's got a whole mass of wires on it, but it has got a, a gimbal with an old GoPro that we put in there and GPS and various other cool features. So hopefully it should work as the flying part of Daniel's invention. So now you can pick up loads of these drone kits second hand and you might be sat there thinking that we're cheating by not building a drone from scratch, but we are not drone experts and also there is way more to getting this to fly than just assembling it. We have spent about two days getting this thing working and we've just got some final touches. So hopefully when I press, yes. So hopefully this thing will fly. Now what we've got to do is learn how on earth to use this. Cooking with Sean. So the first step in making a delicious jelly is jelly cubes. For best results, separate the cubes and place in a jug slash bowl. Jug slash bowl. Add half a pint of boiling water and stir until dissolved. Here comes the jelly. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So the next 10 minutes of this video is me just going to be stirring jelly like this. We hope you're in it for the long haul. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe for this, for more of this, for hours. And hours. You think we're going to cut now to something else, but we're not. We're not. We're just going to carry on. Just going to keep going, stirring jelly. This is a game of chicken now. This is a game of YouTube chicken. Are you going to give up and go and watch another video with cats or perhaps Colin Furs or the Hacksmith? No, you're not. You're going to stay here watching us stir jelly longer and longer and longer. Ruth from the edit is going to be like, uh uh, <laughs> don't worry, I've saved you all. <laughs> There we go, more jelly. Thank you for your patience. A steaming pile of jelly. One eternity later. What do you do in your workshop? We make jelly. This, oh. should, this should come out as a perfect jelly rabbit. Because what other shape would you want your jelly in other than a small mammal? Ooh. Oh, look at, look at it. Who decided that that was a delicious food? <laughs> look at it. Nothing like a bit of liquidized pork mixed with sugar and food coloring. Don't ruin it for everyone. Ready? Go, 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 go. One, two, three. Oh, that made a weird noise. Who would have thought making jelly could be so stressful? We're engineers. We can't even get a jelly out of a mold. Ah, yes. Oh, the jelly escaped. Oh my word, it's rolling. It's rolling. <laughs> <laughs> that was the biggest jelly fail in the world. Look at Fine, it. it's all good, nothing to see here, all good. So we've made the jelly for Daniel's invention and now we need to work out how we're going to launch it. From a drone? Now we have a little bit of experience of firing food on this channel. A lot of experience, we've fired a lot of food on this channel. And there are a few ways that we could fire the jelly. So we could use compressed air, which is what we used for Lucy's custard firing superhero suit but we think that might not fit on the drone. So we've got a limited amount of room to fit things in and we can't carry too much weight because it has to fly. Um, so other options we could use uh, could include using a pump to fire the jelly. So we've tried that before with some jam. We built Eric's idea for a jam firing breakfast rocket that hung over your breakfast table, um, but we're not really gonna have enough room for a pump on here as well. 
So we thought we might have a go at using a catapult. Now we used a catapult for a serial firing alarm clock, a very big catapult. Uh, so we thought we might have a go at using a slightly smaller catapult. <laughs> like this one that we conveniently 3D printed earlier, um, which is just a little mini catapult. Um, so we thought we'd give that a try and see how much jelly we could fire from that. And it does fit on the drone, and the drone should be able to lift it. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can fire some jelly. Ruth, with a plate of jelly and a tiny catapult. Loading a catapult. Ready. Beautiful 3D printed catapult there, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Full of jelly. Okay, jelly in a catapult. Ruth's got the trigger. Ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was rubbish. Right, let's try again. Let's try again. I think my finger cut in the way of the trigger. It's full of jelly. It's not very much jelly. You can't fit very much jelly on a catapult that a drone can carry. Are we ready? Three, two, one. I mean, that was really quite disappointing. I wanted more than like a spoonful of jelly. <laughs> so that didn't work. That catapult was rubbish, but we have had a bit of a think and we realised that probably with the drone, gravity is our friend in terms of dispensing jelly. And we thought maybe we could have some kind of motorised thing that hung underneath the drone. So we were thinking like some sort of grabbing bucket, like a clamshell on an excavator that can go in and scoop up the jelly and then drop it. So that's the plan. Let's make something. <laughs> So this is a 3D model of our jelly grabbing claws and we've modified the end of those claws so they're really tapered and sharp so they can grab our jelly and the opening and closing of these claws are going to be powered by our servo motor. The awesome folks at the Create Education Project recently sent us this amazing Ultimaker S5 3D printer and if you want to find out more about what they do, we will put a link in the description box below. Check them out, they do amazing education 3D printing stuff. And this is the first proper big thing we've printed on this printer. This is our set of hopefully motorised grippers that we, once we've tidied up, we will connect to a servo motor and hopefully use to grab some jelly. assembled grabber claw and we've installed our servo motor which means they grab they also look like a tie fighter which i quite like and we're going to attach this to our drone using this little cable clamp which we've attached to our claw using some magnets and we're going to feed some wire through that attach that to the drone in four places so the whole thing can hang under the drone grabby grabby Future Sean here, so anyone who's watching who knows anything about drones might know that it is in fact technically against the law to drop anything from a drone in the UK, even if that thing is in fact very squidgy jelly. But we didn't actually know that when we were busy building Daniel's invention. So we've connected our grabber to our drone. And on board the drone we've got one of these little wireless receivers that talk to our controller. And this little dial switchy thing here allows us to control the gripper and grab some jelly while we're flying the drone. I think it's ready to test. Go! Future Ruth here. So obviously, past Ruth and Sean still haven't got a clue that what they've made might break the law, but we didn't completely forget to do all our research before we flew Daniel's invention. So amongst loads of other rules in the UK, the Civil Aviation Authority Drone Code states that you must register for an operator and flyer ID for your drone, which we did. Check and that you must always be able to see your drone when flying it and never fly higher than 120 meters or fly near airports or buildings or crowds of people. But the one thing that we missed before we built our jelly dropping invention and the one thing that makes our invention potentially illegal is tucked away in point 12 of the regulations right here. But we completely missed it before we built Daniel's invention. So here's what happened next. So before we fly, I'm just taking the drone operator theory exam so we can show we know all the safe ways to fly a drone before we take the jellycopter for a spin. And then Ruth is going to take her exam in a little while. What? 
That is a problem. That is a serious problem. Ruth? Ruth, it's illegal. It's illegal to drop jelly. So that's how we discovered that the invention we just built was illegal, but we'd already built it. We couldn't not fly it. We just had to get creative. So we're here in a field on a very windy, probably not ideal drone flying day. It's so cold, literally have three jumpers on, but we're going to test out Daniel's invention idea. We've got the drone, we've got the grabber, we've got the jelly. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Miss, 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 miss. The wind is not my friend! I crashed it into a tree! So we put out some more jelly because our drone kept flying over and in the wind uh, it kept missing the four jellies we had out. So we thought if we put out more jelly, cram them all together, there was a higher chance of it being able to pick some up. Jelly cup to round two. That was so close. There's a tiny piece of jelly! It ran out of battery and landed on the jelly. Just gonna have a drone that's covered in jelly. Yes! Jelly! Here comes the jelly! Do -do -do -do. Here we go! Jelly is coming! Okay, we're going up. This is so cool. I've landed on some jelly! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah! Jelly! Ruth's got some jelly! It's coming! Now, obviously, we can't show you jelly being dropped from our drone because that would be illegal. But we can show you a montage of jelly dropping from the sky as we suspend our drone on a piece of rope. Just relaxing, enjoying the day. Beautiful, beautiful winter day. Sitting here in a field and I look up. Is that a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a helicopter. <laughs> It's raining jelly! I am so covered in jelly! <laughs> Daniel, thank you so much for your jellycopter invention. <laughs> this thing is messy, difficult to fly on a windy day, and it was very nearly illegal. But it is hilarious. Jelly release! <laughs> that hit her right on the face. <laughs> is so much fun. I really want to eat the jelly, but my natural instinct when something is flying towards you at speed is to just go, <laughs> but I will try and eat some because I know Daniel really wanted to use the helicopter to feed his friends. Yeah. Here we go. Try not to flinch. <laughs> oh, mm, jelly. Mm, it's quite nice. 
It's absolute jelly carnage. A massive thank you to Daniel for his incredible invention idea. We have had lots of fun and made lots of mess testing it out. This thing is an absolute monster, but we've loved bringing it to life and we always love seeing kids' ideas. So if you know of any kids who might like their invention ideas brought to life, then we on our channel are the people to do it. Send them to our website, which will appear on the screen below for our latest invention challenge. And join us next time to see another crazy invention brought to life. See you then. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe.